Hello, hi, wow, I think it's number 15, am I right, am I right, am I perhaps wrong, <laughs> hey, how's it going everybody, how is it going, how are things, let me just adjust my volume before I go live, I mean I am live, but hey, are we live, production, hey, hey, anyone, anyone, production, I think we're live, oh snap, now I actually gotta adjust my volume here because the music is overtaking my voice right now, Right, okay, Brixton Coffee 15, okay, production, that's a uh, 5, 3, uh, 4, or 5, hey, uh, remember, okay, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hello, hi, how is everyone doing, hello, welcome to Bricks and Coffee, I should have a jingle at this point, like, dee 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 dee, Bricks and Coffee, anybody want to make a jingle for me, I would appreciate it. I will pay in minifigures or something. Really, like if you guys if you guys want to do a jingle for Bricks and Coffee, we could use one. The goat is here. That means you, Ethan. Am I right? Welcome. Look, look at the, look at that form. Look at that. Can you? I don't. 
I can't tilt the cup, obviously, but there's like a la nice layer of fresh foam right on top. I hope you guys have the same. Uh, whoever, uh, whoever is actually... Hmm. Oh, this was good. Oh, wow. Whoever's actually brewing or just brew and having a cup of coffee right together with me right now, this is a big for you because this is what the show is all about. We're chilling. Uh, I mean, don't drink coffee too late in your day, like in the afternoon. It's not good for you. But I do appreciate people who actually join me early morning, maybe second breakfast, maybe a brunch, perhaps, maybe. And uh, hang out with uh, with your boy Mike and, uh, you know, talking about news and Lego and stuff and life. I'm having iced coffee. That does count. You're fine. Iced coffee. We love iced coffee people. We love hot coffee people. We love iced coffee people. We love all the people. Okay? Everybody's good in the chat. Orange juice count? Yep. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Anything that makes you happy, man. Any beverage that makes you comfy and happy and all those things yes look vj anna g uh, brick star wars boy twinception productions set dubois welcome just build it coffee in hand productions hamzy the hamster welcome aaron david big shout out to members yes the members are here as well uh, david my bricks and me columns reviews demure uh, 7242 welcome sam parry I think the freshest of the member squad. Thank you. All being junk rated. Yes. I'm gonna show you the... I'm gonna actually show you the analytics of that stream. That's that's the whole shtick. Uh, yeah. Wow. So many people joining. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I hope everything works good. Bricks and juice. Yeah. Why not? I mean... As long as that's like a morning sort of beverage of your choice. And you are enjoying it and having good time. That counts in my book. Moz Isley Cantina, uh, Master Builder set or Police Station 18 plus and Blacksmith 18 plus. So either just one Moz Isley or two sets. Go for two sets. I mean Moz Isley is a fantastic set. Witaj w ogóle Galaktyczne Klocki. Cześć z Polski. Uh, dude, all of these. All, all of them. All of them. Uh, first, I, I would get fur. I would get the the cantina first, just because it's an older set, I guess. You know, and Star Wars. Uh, I think I'm going to the Barracuda Bay. Uh, do you guys? Oh, Barracuda Bay? Are you? Was that even a question, Hamzy the Hamster? Dude, yes. Top three sets of all time for me. Excellent set. I love the Barracuda Bay. I have it. I have the ship right above me, actually. Dude, yes, yes, y yes. Get it. Get it. Chat will, chat will confirm. Uh, missed the live stream chat, been needing to watch the archive, but the time has been or has been tight. Hey, no worries, Coffee Hand Productions. I do appreciate you guys watching afterwards, actually. Uh, as I said multiple times, it does help the channel. It counts as views, uh, interaction with, with uh, past live streams. By the way, I did, I'm, I'm gonna show you one thing. I did re, I know a lot of people are asking me for the past live stream and such. So I did kind of, uh, I did re rearrange the, the channel page. So right now you will see by this still says upcoming. We're live actually, but it's not refreshed. Um, there is an upcoming live stream at the at the top of my channel page. Uh, there are like the uploads, which will be videos and live streams, and then we got reviews and stuff. And you guys want there is always past live streams at the bottom. So there is a there is a line for YouTube actually added that I didn't notice, but you can actually have a playlist of past live streams now, uh, which helps if anybody wants to rewatch those more chatty episodes. For sure, yeah. And we have 7.27k subscribers! Oh my god, yes! Anyone? You? You too? Okay. I mean, it's not a small feat, you guys! From that junk rate, I think we got 50 subs or something. I'm gonna show you. Actually, I'm gonna show you. I think I have it here. So, this is. This, I'm, I'm sharing my, my analytics from this stream. We got $125 in Super Chats from that only stream. That was insane. Uh, all those like... Uh, I think... I mean, the amount is not the highest, which is, you know... I, I, I'm very grateful for that, obviously. I'm not like, you guys are paying too little. <laughs> no, um, it was a lot. But the fact is, I had the most... Uh, not the most amount of Super Chats in one stream. So that's amazing. 865 original playbacks. Uh, 148 peak viewers and 46 new subscribers. That's the junk grade. 
numbers. So you guys, you guys can see why I am very grateful for Jank to even, uh, you know, helping me out in, in that way. Uh, he basically shouted his, my stream on his stream uh, and, and that's what happened. So, wow. Wow. I think we had 728. Oh, it is 728. Let me refresh. Oh, it is! Thank you, whoever subscribed right now. Because <laughs> it was 728 and it dropped to 727. Somebody didn't like my stuff. Or they just... <laughs> uh, they just subscribed and, 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 and came, came away. Anyway, I don't know. It worked. So, <laughs> call Junk to call me out too. I, I I don't know, like that was like the, the most insane shout out I ever gotten. So Jan, if you're watching, I'm not sure I don't think he's watching, but he's in California too. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. I did I did tweet him after and like, dude, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to thank you. Let me just virtually hug you and let's let's uh, let's see if, if that's enough. Uh this this dude is amazing. Street, welcome. Um street sorry about my voice. I, I I'm healthy, it's good. I just I was I was talking a lot yesterday because we I, I was oh I was recording a video for Beyond the Brick, that's why. Should I tease you? Hmm. I think I can tease you. I did record a video for Beyond the Brick. How can I tease you? Maybe that this is the way I can tease you. Hold on. I think I can tease you that way. Okay. Eh, what's up, Doc? <laughs> There's the teaser. You guys, you guys know. Uh huh. Technically, uh, <laughs> content for them comes first, and then I can do content on my own channel with their stuff. Cause they, they send me, uh, they send me. You know, sometimes they send me uh, land land things for for free. Yeah. So uh, I just sent the video yesterday, and I hope they're gonna publish it uh, soon. So stay tuned. Subscribe to Beyond the Brick. Uh, there is Mike's video coming, uh, and I, I didn't have a video on their channel for quite a while because of the pandemic. We're mostly doing live streams, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's it's the first video I've made for them in months, so that's nice. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I hope you guys are gonna like it. It's basically a, a full field guide. Yeah, so you'll see, depending on when they will uh, actually publish that. Yeah, what is the? My light is so harsh on me right now. Like those glasses are throwing crazy shadows because they're so thick. They are actually casting a lot of shadow on my face. And I don't know how to deal with that. I have to like, I just, uh, whatever, whatever. We good. Jang is such a legend. He absolutely is. Yes, I am an, in, yes, I am an indirect land member. Like I, I, I mentioned that multiple, it's not a secret. I mentioned that multiple times. I'm not a land member myself, but Beyond the Brick has a team of collaborators, which I'm myself part of. And yeah, occasionally I would get stuff. Brian gets a lot of stuff too. Um, you know, other people like Kirk, uh, Matt from Kirk, uh, Kirk Wilson from Vision Bricks, uh, Matt from Brickwiz. Uh, yeah, they, they basically like, they, they do a lot of support through, through that way. So yes, yes, I know that's, that's how I know how it works. But I want to be a land member myself too, you know, so so it's more like uh, direct. Mm -hmm. uh, th yeah, those dude, dudes, those are great. I, I don't want to show them because like their content comes first. Like it's, we're going to talk about it because because Lego actually unveiled them. And it's so funny because everybody knew about them. But Lego is like, Ooh, hey guys, we have a secret. Oh, oh, oh we have a little uh, But like, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, Lego. Okay, you know, like that... Uh, that that lady from one division yeah okay that's basically what this recall reveal this whole fiasco of a reveal if i if i may shall we get to the news perhaps shall we uh big high five to the chat why not big high five to the chat because you guys are insane you guys will be supporting me 48 people watching are you kidding me whoa 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 we were we have 48 people watching 38 no 50 Thank you! 31 likes! Wow! That's like the highest average I had in, in weeks. So, wow! Much love. Thank you. If you all click a like, we could have 50 likes, you know? Think about it. D did you ever meet someone who hates Lego? I don't think so. No. 
no, no, I don't think so. Not only through my YouTube career, but also through my three years at the Lego store. I don't think I ever had someone that like came to the store like, this sucks. <laughs> No, like we didn't, like nobody like demolished the store or like, I don't know. I don't, I, if there's anybody in the world that hates Lego, like hates, hates like, like, you know, vigorously with full power, with like the whole might of their personality, like hates Lego, like genuinely. I don't think there's a person like that. 56, oh my God. Should I wear a tie or something? <laughs> Thank you guys for joining today. All right, let's get to the news. I don't think there's a lot actually, but there are some relevant things. Junk ride being the news of the week, obviously. Duh. How are you, MNRK? Well, I'm I'm fine. Thanks for catching the first stream. Appreciate it. What do I think about Kobe? Uh, can can I elaborate on that real quick? Galaktyczny Klocki. Jestem pod wrażeniem. I'm gonna answer in Polish. I'm gonna tell you what I'm talking about. But Kobe is a Polish brand of bricks. It, it's a, it's like a knock. It's not knockoff of Lego. It's the just like it's like a, like Mega Blocks. It's an interconnect interlocking brick system from Poland. Kobe was around when I was a kid, and we talked about Kobe on Sai O'Connor stream lately because Sol, uh, Solo Brick Builder. He's a Kobe collector, and I'm surprised. I'm gonna I'll try to keep talking in English. Sorry, Galactic Klocks. I hope you understand. Uh, <laughs> Kobe was around for years and I'm surprised about their quality and they offer like military sets right now, aircraft. I'm 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 impressed. I, I've seen Solo Brick Builders, another YouTube channel, great guy. He's collecting Kobe and I was like, dude, that's not a company I remember as a kid because they've been around for years and uh, good stuff, good stuff, good quality. They sa he said, because he's collecting these, he said that if you place a Kobe brick against a Lego brick, you won't tell the difference. Wow. That's so I never had uh, a newish Kobe set in my hands for years, but I, I remember the oldie ones, like, you know, 15 years ago. <laughs> and they, 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 they were crap, basically, but yeah. But now I think it's fake Lego, angry. So, le okay, quick elaborate, quick, quick, quick disclaimer. Let's, let's not mix fake Lego with competing brands, okay? Fake Lego is like Lepin, who like knocks off Lego directly. Like Kobe or Mega Blocks or Mega Constructs. They became a thing once LEGO did not have exclusive patent anymore for interlocking brick system. And those companies are not knockoffs. They, they, are, they are supplementary competitors, okay? They, they do their own stuff, they have their own IPs. Let, let's not hurt those companies. Lepin, we, 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 we can like destroy Lepin all we want. But interlocking... You know, that you would cancel junk that way because junk goes into those different companies that are competitive to Lego and he does that he does mega constructs he does mega blocks to junkies into halo you know so guys that's like let's let's do a, a clear line here like there is a fake Lego and there is competitors with interlocking brick system okay so keep those two you know don't don't throw them in one bag that's that's a big uh, big difference uh, he did review a Kobe Scooby Doo I, I've seen their models, uh, they have like F-18 Hornets, they have like military aircraft, something that LEGO would never do. And I, I, I honestly consider getting like one jet set, because they have like really cool jets. And I love aviation, you know. LEGO is a legend that LEGO is... Yeah, like LEGO is the most long-lasting company in Nicoletta, of course. But you have to know that he, look, historically speaking, LEGO was holding the patent for a, a fixed amount of time. And once that patent expired... Uh, that, you know, interlocking brick patent, they, that were, like, legally, competitors were able to emerge. And they came up with... Those companies do not make knockoff LEGO. They make their own... Like, they... they yeah, they do. They, they get inspired by LEGO, but, you know. Uh, yeah. Oh, Aaron, you have some Kobe? It's amazing. Best brick system for military sets. I, I think they have their own niche. I, I don't really hate on them or anything. I think it's... I kind of want to check out a set... I, I never checked out a set different than Lego, ever, ever, like, since my Dark Ages finished, so I never was into anything other than Lego, as, as an adult. <clears throat> and, and it's from Poland, like, they come from a small Polish village, um, that's like, they're still there, like, and they're shipping globally, that's, that's actually impressive. It's like a, still a, a family-owned brand. I think uh, actually they were purchased by like uh, some other bigger toy company. I don't know. 
yeah, Lepin, Lepin is the cancer of Lego, you know, of, of our community. Like Lepin actually steals stuff and copies and they get lawsuits and, and factories shut down. And so Lepin, Lepin is bad. Lepin is very bad. Uh, but competitors are, are, are there, you know. Yeah, Kobe is famous mostly. Exactly, like, we, okay, you know what? Let, let's just, before, <laughs> it's an interesting topic actually, because we I, I just talked about Kobe with Sayo Connor. I'm gonna go to their website just real quick, not not not, not too much of a of a uh, departure from our topic today. Um, but you know, Kobe has has good stuff. They have tanks. Uh, like let me let me show you that F-18. Uh, I think they have a Top Gun collection right now. What's called Top Gun? Uh, their website's kind of outdated, but uh, Top Gun Maverick. Okay, this one. Check those out. Like, come on, they're pretty cool. They have a Super Hornet, two versions, and a P-51D Mustang. I mean, it looks really cool, you guys. I would love this set. I would love to check it out, actually. This is good stuff, you know. Has a little display stand. Check out this thing. It's awesome. Come on. And it's a small company operating from Poland. They have their own, like, uh, you know, special pieces. They look uh, expensive. So this one goes for... 57 euro is I don't think that's expensive at all Dude, that's, that's a pretty good price Anyway, I think they're cool in their own way. Let's stop it here right on Yeah, I think they're cool. Yeah, I want one. I do want one. <laughs> I do want one. All right Let's co co it's not a Kobe stream. Come on you guys. Let's let's do Lego. Let's do Lego. How sh shall we how about that? Let's do Lego Let's let's have a sip of coffee. It looks really cool. Twenty-five bucks on Amazon, dude. I would pick that up right right away. Generov Kabiedronki. They have like local things too, yeah, like a, like a grocery store truck from Poland. Uh, Lego.com. Lego.com. What should we even look at? Look at shuttle still available. It is. Wow. No honey, thank you. Uh, wow. Hey, remember Hamzi from last week? <laughs> Let's see how many dislikes Hamzi has. Five stars, five stars. Yo, Hamzi, where are you at? Where is Hamzi? Remember that guy with like a one star review? This guy. <gasps> there, are, there are two one stars? Oh my god, I, I will find you. I will find you. I will find you and I will uh, I will make you step on a brick. I will find you. I shall defend this set with my own life. This is the great set. Let's find those one stars. I mean, I can click on the one star, but I wanna see, I wanna I wanna pinpoint. Hey Hamzy, where are you at? You hiding Hamzy? Yo, where's Hamzy? Anybody? <laughs> uh, I can click. I know I can click on that one star, uh, but. Uh, Dude, like, where are they? Oh! Okay, this guy might have an actual issue. 70 missing pieces. Okay, I can get what you get mad, but come on, don't rate this at like one star, like, dude. Con Guys, if you ever run into this issue, contact customer service first before you post a review that you have a pieces missing. You don't have to escalate. But that's my opinion. Overpriced. <laughs> okay, who is this? Oh, none of your business. Okay, Mr. Wise Guy. 65 or older. Oh, I, I, I should I should respect elderly, but let's see how, <laughs> what he writes. I would not recommend took forever to build and realize that uh, irritatingly it was made from cheap plastic? Starlight sparkled. What is this guy talking about? What does this mean? Starlight Sparkle Moonlight Berry. I know it's none of me it's none of my business, but are you okay? Uh, and I do not go within one foot of cheap plastic, and this gave her and her brother's grandmother second cousin dogs out. Okay, it's a it's a troll it's a troll. Okay, it's it's a it's a troll. This is a you, you guys don't do that. It's a troll review. This guy is some kid. Made a stupid account, <laughs> and it's a tr it's a troll review. 
It's a troll review. It's not even like Lego should delete these. Yeah, Lego should delete these reviews. It's a it's a troll review. I don't think this guy. Look at like look at this like 30 days built like yeah he's he's trolling. He's trolling some some. Hey Hamzi, how you doing Hamzi? How are we doing Hamzi? Oh look, <laughs> 1264 dislikes with 19 likes. This is better than YouTube. Come on guys, I like. New new series on the channel reviews on lego.com reviewing reviews Hey, no word calling in the chat, okay? No word calling in the chat. We're just having fun. No word calling like it, it's it's all good fun. Okay. I'm not I'm not trying to call anybody out, but like Yeah, this guy I think he gets the gist at this point But yeah, this is a troll. I don't agree with that. This is not funny. It's it's a troll uh, review You can post anything on the internet obviously <laughs> Uh, but Hamzi, I think he might, I don't think he ever checked back, so... Mike versus Hamzi. Like, ha Hamzi will make a YouTube channel to disc, to like, diss track me. I bet. I, I bet he's right now, he's like... <sighs> writing a diss track on me, right now. Hamzi, where are you at Hamzi? Come at me bro. Come at me bro. Come on. <laughs> Reviewing reviews with the cool factor. <laughs> hey, that'll be funny, okay. Um, and here's the last review on the page. And also, I, I, I don't think the date works for you, Hamzi, very well. It's April 1st, so... Uh, he got cancelled. Poor Hamzi. Poor Hamzi. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's move on, shall we? Oh, uh, before... Yeah, yeah, let's do the bonsai tree. Anybody? Bonsai. Oh, come on! Lego, what's up with that? What's going on here? <laughs> oh my god, I hope this guy doesn't have a YouTube channel or social media for that matter. <laughs> He's gonna just diss me and, and destroy me on the internet. Uh, cool, I need some haters though, because you guys love my stuff. I need some haters actually. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, okay? Like, you guys are good. I love you all. I, we don't need more haters. I do have some haters. We're we good. Um, so, still out of stock. It's like my benchmark set. Uh, what else was there? How is Winnie the Pooh doing? Oh, out of stock too. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I, I was lucky to get the bonsai tree when it was like briefly on back order. I'm uh, ever since I didn't see it in stock or or back order for that matter. Too many frogs. There is like you you guys know there is this one Lego Lego factory in the world that's their full shift switched to producing pink frogs at this point. I bet you it, it's the case. Who could hate Mike? I don't know. People still hate my stuff like. I get, I get this one guy. Maybe I, I think it's one person or one account. I'm not sure, but I get lately every every time I publish something, there's this one dislike, like really quickly. I, I know, like you, of course, you're free to dislike. I, I know my all my videos or streams are not the best, but there is somebody that like maybe it's a bot. I don't know, but like I see like before the the views count up, like when I post a video or, or a stream within the first like 30 minutes. The dislikes just like there's this one dislike like real quickly in the in the process. I'm not sure what's going on, but hey, it's an engagement, so thank you. I do appreciate it. Or like turn your phone upside down or something. How about the flowers? Flowers bouquet. Uh, how do you, how do you spell that bouquet? Out of stock. Everything is out of stock, like roses and tulips. Wow. Wow. That's oh sorry. Forgot I'm not in the screenshot, screen screen mode. Uh, oh, blacksmith. Uh, so yeah, these are out of stock. Blacksmith. Blacksmith. Smitty. Hey, it's on back order. Get your words you can. Get your blacksmith. Get your fresh blacksmith. No, get it. It's a it's a great set. I should tell Brian because I think he was shopping for one. Uh, Cause he, he uh, Brian wants to buy like a two hundred dollar bricks of Brian. Shout out, subscribe and like, follow him on Twitch. Um, Brian uh, was wanted to buy a two hundred dollar set on his live stream, and he wanted the blacksmith, but it was like even it was out of stock. So let him know. Streamlabs, stop spamming. Hey, it's my bot. Leave the bot alone. He's on the interval. He's uh, he's posting a message like every fifteen minutes. We're good. Don't worry. Like he's basically reminding you guys to smash that like button. Turn it blue, you know, make it happen, boys and girls. 
it helps the algorithm more than the subscription or anything. Just, just, just destroy that like button if you could. That would be amazing. <laughs> Daniel, you're fine. Don't worry. It's my it's my programmed bot. It's a loyal follower. He's he's posting a message every 15 minutes or something. The bot is nice. He posts links and stuff. You can always uh, go to Streamlabs if you want to super chat or donate. Feel free to do so. It's not it's not mandatory at all. It's totally optional. Anyway, thank you so much for everything. Oh, should we have a hey a sponsor? I for, I forget about the sponsor segments. Hey, you guys. Sponsor segments. Ten. Oh, you, you guys can hear me now? I'm so sorry. D no sound? Audio off? We good now? Hey, Mike, mute it. Okay. I, I pushed the wrong button. I'm sorry. We good now? Okay, let's wait for the chat. Let's wait for the chat to come back. Mike is out. Better now? Sorry. <laughs> hey, production. What are you guys doing? Production. So what happened, uh, my OBS restarted like real quick and, and killed my mic. <laughs> Production! Hey! I'm not paying these cool factor guys to like have technical issues, you know? They pay me a lot of money to sponsor, to, to like, to do that fat sponsorship right now. Like that's an ad, they like, they pay me a lot of money to, to make it sure it runs smoothly, so can you guys at least make sure it goes well, because they're gonna drop me if I don't get it right. Don't launch a nuke. <clears throat> like, here's what it sounds when I launch a nuke. No nukes available at this moment. You should fire the sound guy. I bet you there's a guy standing like and holding the mic right above me right now. Even though I have a mic here. Okay. Uh, subscribe and like and become a member if you can. Okay. <laughs> oh. See, it happened again. I gotta figure out my stream deck, cause it, it does that every time. It's so weird, like, and I, when I push a button right now, it kind of... It kind of restarts my OBS. Anyway, that's a glitch. Fire everyone. Yes. <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh, we're doing the news, right? Okay. Let's do it. Oh, now it works. Ooh! Ooh! Now it works, okay. I don't know, every time I start Stream Deck, like, some buttons just freak out. Rip chat. Oh, it's good now. Okay. Still viewers, there are still viewers here, which is good. Hello chat, macie witaj. Kciu w górę zostawione, dziękuję ci bardzo. Yeah, sound guy is fired, like... I'm like Dr. Disrespect, like, firing the guy on the spot. Hey, what this could be? <laughs> what could it be? Hmm. Put your answers in the chat below. <laughs> that was the <laughs> That was the funniest launch of a CMF from Lego I have ever seen. <clears throat> I'm like face palm everyone. <laughs> Everybody and their moms had the minifigures on on like purchased already or seen or whatever it takes everybody's seen them and they're like hey everybody we're gonna do a super secret reveal on three social media platforms i've never seen what could it be maybe it's fortnite guys maybe it's fortnite i bet that's like this looks like a i don't know like a like a bunny fortnite skin dude i don't know like this guy that's that's a, that's a fortnite hammer that's like you know like like they have those uh things to like chop things in Fortnite, that must be, so the head looks like, I don't know, it could be anything. Yeah, why is not Twitter, why is not Tweety on Twitter? Come on, such a missed opportunity. 
Fortnite. Yeah, see, these guys have Fortnite uh, hammers. I, I mean, duh, what the walls could it be? No way. No. <laughs> Swoop life. I never played Fortnite in my life, by the way. You can hate me now. All right. I mean, we talked about him last week anyway. Uh, I just want to acknowledge that there was an official, official, official reveal. Even though last week we had basically pictures of a guy buying them and seeing the entire collection. This is the official picture, okay. Worthy sacrifice. Purge minifigure. Lego Fortnite would be the end of the world. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> um... All right, so who's your favorite? Just like a really quick question in the chat. My favorite, after I actually, uh, funny, ha I have them on my desk, but I technically I'm not able to, to show them yet, technically, because Beyond the Brick goes first, like their content goes first. Um, I gotta say, after like feeling them and, and, and checking them out, my favorite is Daffy Duck. For the quality of the head, you guys will like him a lot. Sylvester is probably in second place. Uh, uh, the most disliked is Road, Roadrunner and Tweety because, as I mentioned, I think they should be kind of accessories to Willy and Sylvester and we should have Yosemite Sam and Elmer Fudd in that place. My least favorite also is Petunia because she's not a very known character. She's not really that relevant, honestly. Um, so I'm not sure why. And Lola is, Lola is a great minifigure on its own, but I it's kind of like a weird addition because it only refers to Space Jam and some cartoons, but... Uh, Marvin the Martian, let me disintegrate you. <laughs> uh, he's cool. Yeah, he's cool too. Uh, might be my third favorite character, honestly. Taz is awesome. He does come with this spinny piece too. Um, I mean, actually, like a lot of them are equally awesome, but I don't, I don't agree with some of the choices. Roadrunner has like a long neck. Uh, I don't like that he has many, like, he should be a different form, but I, I, I do appreciate that they have him, because, I mean, he's not, he can't be omitted. Lola's face, it is a bit weird, like, I, I, I do have her, I can't show it. <laughs> it's so weird, like, because I see at the pictures, I have the minifigure, oh, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh boy, I broke the NDA, no, just kidding. Um, she, she seems a bit flat on, on the face, you know. Just a bit, with the print. Woo! <laughs> um, yeah, you're gonna see a very detailed look on Beyond the Brick. It's kind of weird. I don't think the handlons would care. Brian, in the chat. Maybe. I don't know, Brian. I, I don't know. I, I, I sent the video to, the, to them yesterday, so hopefully they're gonna post it soon. Uh, and I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do my own review on my own channel afterwards, anyway. But yeah, they're nice. Yeah, they should be a special figure for the road run, like a, like a like that flamingo from that previous series, and like included with the coyote or something. So there is no Yosemite Sam, there is no uh, Elmer Fudd, and I don't know why. Because guns? I don't know. Both guys like are wielding actual guns. By the blacksmith, yes. Okay, so there is that official. Do we know the release date? I think it's May 1st, Brian. I think uh, it's May 1st. That's what I said in the video. That's what, that's the latest information. Uh, hold on. I think... So yeah, <laughs> that's the entire brick sets reveal. <laughs> it's like one chapter. Boom, that's it. No release date. I'm just assuming they're, they're uh, that I heard from other sources that it's May 1st and it's five bucks a fig. Yeah, it's funny how people are commenting like, whoa, so violent. Like, basically Sylvester has a giant baseball bat, Tweety has a giant hammer, and yet we can have Elmer Fudd with a cartoonish shotgun. Right now, I think it's May the 1st. Usually, minifigs come out on, on the 1st of the month. They can always make Elmer with a scythe. 
I, yeah, it's, I don't know, uh, it's a weird decision. I think like totally uh, Elmer and, and Yosemite would be better than Petunia for sure, any of them. Because they're so like, basically like, Daffy has a rabbit season uh, sign and that's, that's a direct joke to Elmer. I mean, come on, right? <laughs> right? So, okay. This is an interesting topic. Okay, let's talk about this. Before I start talking, chat. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? What do you think? Interaction, streamer, professional streamer interaction. I'm asking chat questions. I'm, I'm, I, I do care of your opinions. This is, this is this moment. You can shine now. You can shine now. The pinky and the brain, 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 brain. Yes. Twinception, no, from Brian. Spanish Inquisition, yes, no. In America, yes. In Europe, no. Goofy Brick, uh, probably yes. Yes to the characters, no to the concept. I would say no. yes to the concept, no to the minifigs. In my case, in my opinion, it's a flop. Too early to tell. Probably that's that's the best answer, Mahan. Actually, I can't, I, I wanted to bite you into this a bit because I I don't have a definitive answer. Like I can, I'm not a market analyst, or I don't have the numbers. I I, I don't work for Lego marketing. I don't see the sales. I think Mahan has the best answer. Too early to tell. I think that's the most uh, reasonable answer at this point. But we we see the signs. What I can what I wanna say is that we are seeing the signs of a poorly performing team. And the reason being, the reason this question pops up on Brickset is because of, for example, this. This is a shot from the UK store, coming from like about 14 pounds to 480. So it's, it's like a 70% discount or something. Yes, Mahan has the right answer. I Brian also noticed that. Uh, yeah, I think it's too early to tell, honestly. But we, I, I'm gonna elaborate. We we are seeing the signs of a possibly poorly performing theme. Might be, might be, may may not, or may maybe, uh, one of the worst performing launches for Lego lately. Might be, but I'm not saying it is. I'm just like oh, market observation from a con con consumer perspective. Um, look, going to uh, I go to Lego store weekly, not to buy stuff, but I I go to the mall uh, weekly where my kid has like ice skating classes, for example. And there's a Lego, there's my Lego store there, so I always stop by and say hi every time. And uh, if there is a friend working, I do ask them, hey, how is video doing? And usually the answer is like, yeah, we're not stocking a lot. They do not sell. You know, the the general consensus is that like they do not sell, but. This is a biased opinion. I'm only basing this off my own observation. I don't see the market trends. I don't see other stores. I've, I haven't been to Target in weeks and especially the Lego section of Target in weeks. So I don't know. That's my own observation. Uh, but like sh looking at this article popping up on a such a, you know, large website, I think there must be the case. And looking at the comments, you know, it's a hot topic, 251 comments. Uh, but a lot of people say the same thing. It may be too early to say, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a major flop. Uh, yes, no. So, it, like, like you guys, the chat is reflecting the, the general uh, LEGO community opinion at this point. Like, maybe, perhaps, but we don't know. It's too early. Uh, I love minifigs and collecting them, uh, so I appreciate the uniqueness here. Good, good, good answer, my brickness and me. Uh, I, the same. Hey, thank you. Wow. Great to be no back heart. Thank you, uh, Brickheart. Big shout to for the two pound super chat. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Long time no see, dude. Thank you. Big hi. There we go. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, appreciate the super chat very much. Much love. Um. So yeah, the general consensus is appreciated, dude. Thank you so much. Welcome back, dude. How how you feeling, by the way? I think you went through uh, through that the C uh, disease that we don't talk about, right? I hope you're good, man. I hope everything is well. Uh, I hope everything is okay. Yeah. So I like the minifigs. You know, I I I, I think my kids took my minifigs actually <laughs> from video. Where are they actually? Did I did I really take them? 
Dude, like, I forgot when I had the video minifigs. Oh no, I have them here, like, I'm, I'm so blind. I actually have them here. You know, the concept is great! Nobody saw that. I dropped my 501st speeder, bark speeder. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Um, thank goodness that my camera was tiny. Um, the concept is really good for the design of the characters. Um, but you know what? My kids saw the, 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 ah, the, the display on the Lego store and it's like, oh, that's cool. But they were not interested in like even trying the app out. Maybe I should I should come back to you in a week. Maybe show the kids my uh, the, the app of video and see how they feel about it. Maybe that's gonna be a better understanding of of what's going on. But so far as an AFOL, the video concept is not for me. So I'm I'm biased. I know that, and I'm not the target audience. But I want these. I want these. And when they uh, really get into the discount territory, like heavy discount, I'm probably gonna get all of these because they're amazing. Uh, for the design. I like them. That's this. Not everything else about video. Just this. And the tiles. So we'll see. I mean, don't don't worry. Lego will not ban go bankrupt because of video perf underperforming or whatever it is. They're just gonna move on. It's not the first time that Lego had uh, a kind of concept backfire on them in a negative way. Uh, Lego Forma. A, 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 a kind of like a gimmick. Uh, what it was with the crowdfunding and everything we don't see forma anymore it was just like a one-time shot um you know but at the same time like the bricklink designer program was really successful and they're doing a second one uh video can be just like a like a blip on the radar saying like okay we lost some money let's just move on right so it's not something that will hurt, hurt lego in the long term it's basically a minifigure theme with some app Probably the app was more money put into it but it's not like the entire theme just getting killed like like hidden side for example right and we're talking into our own like uh, a fall echo chamber <laughs> actually like that 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 is true like we're all right now you and me we're mostly a false right here um so what would what are you talking about why like it's not for us technically it's not for us it was a prototype, but it was like a, a proof of concept that they wanted to move on uh, with actual formal theme. I guess it didn't work out. So, you know. What that can teach Lego, the whole video situation can teach Lego is that, well, maybe let's not get too much into that interactive stuff. You know? Um, I think the only thing that may prevail in that form is Mario. I think Mario has a, has a bright future ahead of it. Uh, and that was like one of the most successful integrations of, of digital and physical in LEGO, I think, in my personal opinion. Uh, Hidden Side, semi-successful, semi I would say, but didn't live on. And I think video is like the worst implementation. Or maybe just like the least successful or the least popular. So... Forma was like a, like a crowdfunded concept that only sold through... Uh, the crowdfunding, but I think they had some sets on sale right after, like some limited quantities. But yeah, I think LEGO is doing this right with Mario, and they can really like build on Mario more and more and more and come up with new things. But the general like seed of Mario is 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 good. I think it's good. So let's let's see what LEGO does with that. Uh, but video, not so much. Um, so we'll see. All right. So that's an interesting conversation. Boom. Hey, how do you guys like those? Golden Harry Potter Manifigures. How is the chat feeling about those? Uh, they're trying to, to like transplant the concept from Ninjago. Um, not sure if that's the correct way to do it. Many people were saying, hey, how about you just do the classic minifigures like you did with Star Wars? Just put like a, like an old-timey Harry Potter in there, like old-timey Voldy, uh, instead of going full gold. Uh, Mahan loves them, no other words. Love them, love them. They look good. Yeah, so you guys prefer that form or do you guys prefer if they went like Star Wars? So an old, like, you know, we had Star Wars 20 anniversary sets. Like Obi-Wan, old Luke, old Leia. Or is that better concept? 
Gold base plates, good point, Brian. Gold base plates. That's something I a lot of people will not notice, but we are getting gold base plates, which is which is wow. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's never been a color of that piece before. It might be one of the larger le uh, gold plated pieces in Lego ever. Right? They might be cool. I mean, I like the golden uh, Ninjago figs. I like the golden Wu from like the newest sets for the, the, the gardens. For me, I, I would say yes to that. Uh, I wasn't too keen on that uh, classic Star Wars minifigs. The only difference they had really is that 20 anniversary logo on the back, right? This is entirely new concept for Harry Potter, so I think it's a yes in my book. I think I think I I'm more keen to get those in that form than getting those in like remake of a classic form of sorts. I think that that works for me better personally. You didn't finish your gardens review, Mike? Yes, I I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. No, really. Backlog, am I right? And it's gonna get worse, you guys, because I'm coming back to the office very soon and I'm gonna have even less time to work on stuff. Oh my god. But I will. I shall. I promise you that, even if it's like a few weeks from now. I will. Okay? I will. I know, I, it feels bad, like unfinished business to me. Because I did the minifigure review and I didn't get the set to on the camera. <laughs> no, really, like... It makes me feel bad because I, I want to do it, but I want to sleep too, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. Hey, you good. My fake my fake cry is great, I tell you. Uh, let's move on. So yes, on the golden figs. Are we good, chat? I think it's a yes. Yes. I like them. Let's see what the sets are actually. Lego Masters USA returns June 1st. So there is a quick little bit of news. Um... Quick, quick reminder, I did apply with a, a friend of mine, re invited me to apply with him, we didn't get through. But we did have a talk with the producer and the manager of the show. So, cool little uh, memory, cool little experience. Uh, the gardens were amazing, yes, uh, Brickhart. They skipped out seven years. Yeah, I think you're right, because they say 20 anniversary of uh, Harry Potter. But actually in Lego, it's like 13 years, but like 20 years of Harry Potter, but not Lego Harry Potter. So it's kind of misleading. It's kind of misleading. Whereas in Star Wars, we actually had 20 years of sets, right? So yeah, misleading, I would say. Because the sets were not around for 20 years. They were for 13 years, I believe. Gardens is the best set, uh, Lego set ever. It, it's a good choice. It's one of the best sets ever made, for sure. Quite probably because it seems to be first movie and book related, most likely. But like, you know, the, lo the, the logo says exactly Lego, Harry Potter, 20 years. So you, you assume that like, okay, so are we? Like somebody that doesn't know, like somebody that's not a nerd like we are. <laughs> They like, ooh, like, Lego Harry Potter was around for 20 years. No, it wasn't. It was less than that. The, the, the lore was around for 20 years, yes, but not Lego. So it's misleading at best. It's misleading. And we had like, and it's not really 20 years, because Star Wars was continuous. Like, there was, I think the only break from Star Wars was like one year around that like prequel trilogy. I think they made like maybe like two sets only. But it was continuous 20 years of Star Wars sets every year. Whereas Harry Potter, we had basically a, a dark age. We had, you know, we had the, 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 the first few lines and then nothing. And then boom, Harry Potter comes back. So, right? It's like, it's much less than that. But Dimensions was there too in the between. So it's it's not continuous. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's kind of like misleading. It's not continuous. We, there was like a big comeback and a big break in the, in, in the middle. For example, yes. So it's like tw 20 years for Star Wars sounds accurate because that's actually what happened. 20 years for Harry Potter, completely misleading. <laughs> there were two Harry Potter Dark Ages. Even so, yeah, I don't remember the exact dates, but I know there were breaks in between. And the longest one was between, you know, the current 
re revised Harry Potter as we know today. Um, and, you know, and the last one, I think. So, yeah, misleading. Let's let's stop at there. Let's stop at that. Um, I wonder, like, I don't think we know that the, the teams yet. I think they will be announcing stuff soon. I think May, I would say there will be a campaign in May to promote for the June 1st launch. So we'll see who's in there. Probably some mock builders that we both know, that, that we all know in a way. Um, I would rather Lego do more classic space than have Star Wars. I think Lego at this point is way past due on come back to classic space, come back to castle, come back to pirates, come back to Vikings. You name it, all the old themes that people want, they are long overdue for a good re remake, I think. Hey, just finished building my city pizza, pizza van trailer. That's that's a nice set. Brick Princess, welcome. You, do, do you guys know who's gonna be on season two? Uh, do we have any confirmations? I think that if, if anybody was selected, I think they're under NDA, so I don't think anybody can share that yet. Uh, probably we're gonna see soon. They're gonna be announcing teams and stuff. I bet there's gonna be a bunch of people that we know from YouTube or, or Flickr or yeah. Did LEGO Ideas vote results just vanish? I know, right? What's up with that? It's been a while. Wow. It's, 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 it's been a while. Will Arnett is coming back, that we know for sure. Mike is confirmed for season two. I'm under NDA, shh. No, I can tell you, I wasn't, I, it's, it's not, I'm not trying to like uh, fake my participa participation. No, I, I, I was not selected. I, I literally got an email like, thank you. Casting is concluded. Good luck next time. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't think there are having any leaks. Yeah, everybody's under NDA, I, I bet. They're very strict about it. When I was in on LEGO Masters Season 1 uh, Media Day, and I was like filming for Beyond the Brick uh, in, in LA, I couldn't even speak or see. I've seen Boone there. So like, actually back then, I the only thing I knew was they were filming, uh, they were close to the finale. So it was like, you know, a few, like one or two episodes left to film or something. And they tried to not show us who's on the set on that day, because if you see contestants on that day and you connect the dots, you say like, okay, so they're filming the, the, the last episode or something. And I see this guy on the set. So probably he's like, he's in the semifinal and I've seen Boone. I've seen Boone like hanging out there and he waved at me. And I waved back, but we couldn't speak because, like, they were, like, uh, distance from us. But I, I was like, okay, so if they're, like, and Boone is here, probably, like, Boone is, like, semi-final minimum. <laughs> and I, I, I knew that back then, but I couldn't share that because I signed the NDA myself. The NDA expired when the season aired, obviously. Um, but, yeah. I, yeah, I applied for a friend applied me actually like because he needed a partner and and I was like cool Let's let's do Lego master season two and we didn't get through uh, Just leak that there will be a next time season three is confirmed you heard it for first <laughs> I mean, I I, it, I think the show is very successful. So season three might be a, a thing already UK is airing Lego masters USA season one quick news um, boom. There we go. Yes, sir. All right, let's 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 get to um uh, how how long have I been live today? Only an hour? Okay. Just an hour. We good. We good. Usually we go an hour 30 minutes. <sighs> Coffee is still warm actually. Surprisingly enough. Uh, three projects withdrawn from Bricklink Designer Program. So, uh, just a quick update. I think you guys know about it, but um, Robin Ann, uh, who is the designer of the old fishing store, for example, he had a, a bunch of these in the same theme, and the, the the old fishing store became a set out of all his projects, and the remainder of his projects became a thing in the Bricklink Designer Program. 
Um, apparently he works with a third party company that makes models from his designs. Sort of like, like Brick Vault probably or something. Um, and that way he, he withdrew or was withdrawn, I don't know, um, because of that collaboration. So he cannot be like this. This has to be exclusive to the designer program. I guess that's the that's the whole thing. Um, and yeah, I, we are at I think they have until April, end of April for the production pre-production phase. And um, then we will be seeing some progress. So he, he, he he's the He's the guy behind this one. That's that's Robin Ann's design. And I think uh, he, there were three of them. So this one is his as well, that boat shop. And I think the third one is this one. So he was very much into that same theme and the, the, the old fishing store just happened to be the most successful and the one accepted into the actual set. Like the stream chat. You heard the guy. You heard the guy. Like the stream. Yes. Mm -hmm. See the like. Do you smash it. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Yeah, I, I, still 50 plus viewers. I'm wow. Wow. Brian, Brian, can, can you help me? Hey, Brian. What do you do to scare people off? The chat is moving too fast, Brian. How do you do it? <laughs> Just eat a pickle? Okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Jokes aside, did you subscribe to Bricks O'Brien? Did you make your duty today of following him on Twitch and subscribing to his YouTube channel? Did you? You should, because this guy is the GOAT. I like the guy. I, I, I like giving him a shout out. He's really nice. And I'm his, I'm his motion graphics designer by the way. So, me giving him shoutouts, it, it's a win-win, you know? It's a win-win. Give me a like and give Brian a like, shall you? Like his latest video, whatever. Go to his Twitch and, and uh, you know, just, just, just let's support each other. If, if right now all 50 of you came to each other's uh, live, uh, like, channels and, and subscribed, that's like the whole new concept of sub for sub, you know? There you go. Shoutouts work. At least one subscriber. Awesome. Now Brian is a good guy. Good guy. Beyond the brick, the face of Beyond the Brick at this point. I'm not sure how handlers are handling him anymore. Like he's outgrown himself on Beyond the Brick at this point. He became the face. He's taking over. He's taking over. That's for sure. <laughs> Brian is the man. Yes. I can recommend. <clears throat> Brian, do you have a VOD of your uh, spicy gummy bear situation? Do you have a VOD of that? On You have it on Twitter, but do you have it on your Twitch or YouTube? Uh, you should. I think you, you, I think you have it. Yeah, the spicy, spicy gummy bear was epic. Um, oh, the, the things people do for the entertainment. The things people do. That's an interesting review uh, on Brickset. Insta Brick Part ident Identification System. I just I just had this open because I I've seen this thing before and the this, this, uh, there's a a brand called Insta Brick that well it's it's a box. It's a box. And you put a thing in the box, and the box tells you what thing it is. It works for Lego only. I like the design, it's like so futuristic, like a like a spaceship battery. So it scans and tells you exactly what it is. And there uh, it's, it's a long article, but they're testing and it's connected to the bricks and database and all that stuff and I think Bricklink whatever. But it can even it can even identify like minifig torsos and um, and tell you the minifigure that comes from. Yeah, it's it's a bricklink connection like faces. They've done extensive, I mean, ex and I mean extensive testing. 
So check it out. It's I think it's, it's something I want to highlight because this review, I, I read through this and it's it's a pretty cool concept. Like especially for people who are running um, Brickling stores or people who are running uh, a mock building operation and they need some quick you know what is this like? I think it's it's pretty cool concept. So check it out on Brickset.com. I'm gonna give them a shout out. Why not? Target to start selling Legoland exclusive sets. Interesting. There are reports that Target will be start selling Legoland exclusive sets in stores. The street dates for these sets is April 11. That would be today, right? Um, I don't know. People have been finding various Legoland sets in various locations in the US. Interesting. So Legoland exclusives are, I guess they gotta take that down. I mean, I mean, okay, just take the exclusive down. It's not Legoland exclusive anymore. Cool. I mean, I, I, I have a Legoland close by. I don't have any of these sets, but if I want to, the Legoland is like next door. So, um, though the Ultra Boost DNA Adidas sneakers sold out so quickly uh, and they just restocked them. So, uh, I guess, I guess clothing and Lego go well together? Did you guys get any of these? Can someone buy that set for me at Legoland? What do you need? <laughs> I will pay you. If you're in the US, I might be able to help, but probably will forget and will ghost you for weeks because I have no time. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if Target sells them, you probably can uh, order them online and get them shipped to you at this point. But uh, Goofy Brick, are you are you in the US? Because Legoland sells online too. You can actually go to Legoland.com and buy the sets online with shipping, I think. Uh, contest, micro game contest winners. Oh, you're not US. Yeah. Yeah, like shipping, uh, shipping to you like would be too expensive in my opinion and too crazy right now in COVID. Uh, Lego Ideas Micro Game Contest winners revealed. Right on! So all those games that people were making, some of them like I played some of these. I mean, not like sorry, not played, but watched the YouTube videos and they're pretty cool. Um, so th yeah, uh, I think there was like. A I had like an ideas. I think they have a blog post. Hold on. Oh, what? Well, that link didn't work, you dude. Oh, he's just... Okay. Let's see if I can open some of these. I don't want to play any of these because they might be some copyright music or something, but... Uh, but yeah, uh, I think if you go... Hold on. Let me see if I can go to Lego Ideas, and I think there was a blog post, like, uh, summarizing all of these. Can I post a shameless YouTube link? Uh, you have to be a mod to post. What do you need? Uh, let's see, contest, blog. Oh, winners, okay. Alright, so there's a Lego Ideas um, a summary. Grand prize winner, the Odyssey. Really cool looking thing with the classic like box look. Okay, uh, might as well... These look cool. Uh, I might as well try playing some videos here, but I don't want to get copyright hit. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Wow. So that's the game people designed. Okay, can I... Hope there is no sound. So you unlock characters. Dude, that's cool. He made like a space, like classic space base. Wow, that's... that's... Wow, you can make all those games in this... Did you guys submit any games to Unity, like to that uh, contest? 
Nice. All right, pretty cool. Congrats to the winners. Nice. Noise, 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 noise. What else is there? Oh, gee, another. Lay, everybody. Another Lego idea set. Made 10,000. Looks like Lego Worlds. I think that engine was made to like make it kind of like how you were able to make that kind of looking game, like Lego Worlds. Yeah. Gee. Ideas Medieval Marketplace. Blacksmith, anyone? It's nice, but zero chance, honestly. Um, look at that. If that's not overwhelming, I do not know what is. This, the blue, is the list of currently reviewed, in this single review stage, idea sets. One review stage, just this single one, so, so you know. All of this, that's just the first 2021 review stage. That's all of it, all of it. How can we even keep track? How can we keep tabs? This is so diluted right now. This would be a full year or two years of LEGO Ideas, say, two or three years ago. It's one review stage, one quarter, basically. All of it. Pandemic building, am I right? <laughs> Let's look at this one for a second. Congrats, Dominic. QN. Um, I mean, I, I did see this one before. I like this set. Because of the medieval blacksmith, it's not going, it's not going to get made. Let's just be real. I love the clock tower though. So yes, it's a great concept, but zero chance. Zero chance, honestly. Um, I think, surprisingly enough, there was only this single one uh, hitting the 10,000 this week. Right? I hope. Let's see. Can we sort by... Achieved support? Alright, so we had the Snow White already talked about Violin Retro Arcade. No, nothing new beyond that. Dudes, this is just like so overwhelming. Yeah. This is insanely overwhelming. I'm not sure like how they will handle all this. They need to accept five or two or five sets. Yeah, uh, I think we're gonna see a lot of disappointments. A lot of them will just be th thrown um, either to the trash or to the third Bricklink designer program or something. I don't know. I have no clue what's going on here. I think it's one of the most long lasting discussions in our community here. Uh, Brickheart, like we talked about ways of doing things like more sets, make it less exclusive. More votes, uh, mod more moderation, do not let all of those projects for voting, you know. So there's, there's, a f I don't think anything, any of this was done at this point, like it's just, it's the same, the same, same old, same old. Too many sets, too little time, Lego taking their time, and there will be a lot of rejections, actually. Hello Lifeboat Boy 22 welcome. Uh, Nicoletta, hello. Oh, you're back. Okay. Yeah, and Lego will pick only one for them and do the most boring one. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, we have that Brickling Designer program, so... I think that's a big chance for a lot of the projects to make, to see the light of day. It's, it's like... If the ideas doesn't change anything on their own, that's the only way to get some of these. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Well, what's the news of the week? What's the news of the week then? Jangrite, obviously. I mean, Cool Factor Jangrite. That was the news of the week. That was amazing. Thank you so much for all the support. Overwhelming. I'm, I st I'm still processing that. I'm still processing that. I'm actually still processing that. Uh, news of the week. That, that giant Looney Tunes reveal flop. The violin has a chance. Might have, but we just had the piano in the kind of like music instrument department. Looney Tunes and Jangrade. 
Jungrat is my personal piece of news for this channel, but it's 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 probably for me like made my week. Made my week. Period. Not, I wasn't as excited as for this situation. And I was this close to not doing this stream because, by the way, if you guys don't know, that was the introductory stream for late night chats I'm gonna be doing once a week on a weekday night. Um, and this was just like the cons, like showing you that it's gonna be happening. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. But now that I see the success of Bricks and Coffee and that I can, like, consistent schedule really works and you guys come over and, like, we have fun and enjoy the time. Uh, so that's mornings on, on, on a weekend, and but I also want to do something late nights on a weekday because that's usually where I work when I'm at the computer, where I uh, work on something Lego, usually. So I might as well take this hour on a Wednesday, for example, and tune in and just chat live, chat Lego sometimes. It's, it's my way of just like sharing more with you of my kind of life and maybe doing some, some, some chats on that. So... Rafi, welcome. Jung right, so what happened, like, uh, I did a live stream on... Uh, what, was it Thursday or Wednesday? Was it Wednesday? I don't know. I think it was Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> and Jung shared my stream and we had, like, the most successful stream ever on this channel. So he, he did really, like, directly support my, my stuff. And I had, like, 146 viewers or something and, and super chats and it was... It basically knocked me off my off my legs. The succulent might make it in the Lego ideas, maybe. There's so many. There's so many, honestly. So many. Yeah, it was like it's a ton. Like this guy can make it. Uh the Viking ship can make it. The violin is great, <clears throat> excuse me, but again, um <clears throat> Whoa. Sorry, I was talking about for an hour. Um I mean piano, right? Piano. Just look look at what what has been made in the recent past, and if something was similar in the recent past, most likely the new con the new project in that similar theme sub theme will not be made. Actually, the snow the Snow White might be made. I know it's Disney, but you know, looking at uh, the Steamboat Willie, for example, or Tron, Disney IPs um, can absolutely be made. Or Winnie, right? The castle might have a shot, actually. The airship might have a shot. I would, yeah, there's a lot to it. The jazz band may, um, same thing, music. Yeah. So we don't, we don't really know. We don't really know. Did you ever get the bonsai? Yes, I, I was able to order that bonsai on that short back order window and uh, it's not in the studio, it's in my living room. So yes. We had 148 people watching at the peak point. I had like 49. It was, it was very successful. Like I was, I was, I was chatting. I was, I was prepared to chat for like you know 20 people about how I'm gonna be more doing more chats and how life is going. And uh, now a wild Jang appears with a bunch of people because he shared my link on his live stream. He was streaming, he was ending his stream right on my stream with like 300 viewers, and he just shared it. And oh sorry, and it was just like what. That was that was crazy. Post office has a chance, most likely, maybe. It's not a modular, it's more like a dollhouse design, so might be actually. Hello again, Ethan. What do you think the chance of Via Rail Canadian are? A very local based and enthusiast uh, related uh, set, train people, and we had the crocodile locomotive, so I say no. Because already the Crocodile Locomotive set is very train related and I don't think they're gonna make something similar soon. Mm, so that's my that's my take on it. That's my take on it. Yeah. If you can the bonsai tree is amazing. I mean, but it's been out of stock for ages now. Oh Brickstar was boy, I see on every less. He's like I think at this point, Brick Star Wars Boy is an AI living in the YouTube, um, I don't know, quantum network. And he just, he can be in multiple places at once. He can be in like, I bet you he's in like five different live streams right now. That's my concept. I, I, I can't explain it. He's ever, he's everywhere. 
Oh yeah, these idea sets won't come out for a while. Yes, I mean, we need the pool was made for like over a year. Uh, the time before between set getting into that acceptance uh, moment to shelf gets longer and longer just because they have more stuff and seems like the team is about the same for doing all that stuff so i think the sets right now the sets take longer to to see the light of day yeah your best chance to get the bonsai tree is the local store yes actually that's true um online is is very hard to get right now if you have a lego store near you just talk to the manager uh, get to know when they have uh, deliveries. I, I know delivery days of all my local Lego stores in San Diego. Um, and I know managers of both stores because I work there and I call them multiple times and they know me. So it's just like we call, hey, when do, when's your next truck? Boom. And you call, usually what you do, you every Lego store has like a one day or sometimes two days a week deliveries. And they have a shipping manifest the day before. So if you call the Lego store in the afternoon, the day before the truck comes in, the next day in the morning, they will tell you what's on the truck. They will tell you, this is not secret. And usually you just call and like, hey, do you, are you getting bonsai trees? And they will tell you like how many boxes they get. They will tell you, it's, it's not secret. Usually they tell. So you can always like know that delivery date, call the store ahead of time. So you don't have to go and, you know, kiss the unempty shelf. Uh, I always do that for very like highly uh, popular sets. Call ahead, see what's on the truck, go, uh, go there in the morning, buy your stuff. Mission accomplished. All uh, right, guys, uh, what time is it? I think we're gonna be, yes, it's perfect time to tune down. It's 10 20 a.m. in California. So I shall, I shall um, dedicate myself to my Sunday and my fam. This is actually the last day the weekend ending and tomorrow uh, schools are reopening so first normal day in in months I mean a year I think because I'm uh, uh, my kid goes back to school and I'm gonna be going back to the office tomorrow yeah kind of sad but I'll see you on the cool factor as always uh, probably my hours will shift more towards afternoons uh, I don't think a 5 or 6 p.m. stream will be possible anymore because I have a longer commute. So if I finish work like, you know, 4 or 5 p.m., I'm going to be here like probably 7 p.m. So you guys prepare yourselves for, for streams will be there, but they will be more likely later. What's normal? I don't know, dude. Like, I'm actually, I have anxiety about tomorrow. I'm scared. I don't know, like how normal looks like. I have no idea. I gotta get to school on time, I gotta get to work. How is How does office look like? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue how to go back to normal. Like this is, this is like anxiety inducing. I, actually, I'm scared, like I don't know. Like how do you work normally, like not from home? I'm actually, uh, I don't know, like, like I'm trying to chill today um, and hopefully figure it out by tomorrow. Uh, hey Wyatt, uh, what do you think about Lego making more Lord of the Rings sets for the 20th anniversary of the movies? Uh, that'll be amazing. I think that'll be the best shot of Lego doing that because there is no new movie coming or book for that matter, obviously. Um, so if anything, that's the only nearest possibility of Lego of even acknowledging the existence of Lord of the Rings. Because you remember, like Lego comes back to concepts or or lores whenever there is some sort of like a trend that can uh, bring the sales. So say an anniversary, a new movie, a new book. There has to be a trigger for Lego to do something in their toys. Okay. So Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes are not a coincidence. For example, I think Looney Tunes are, are closely connected to the Space Jam movie. For example, uh, there is a reason behind it. So there has to be a trend, an uh, event, something that can like justify bringing an old team back. So yeah, that that would be amazing. That's the only chance we can we have. Uh, hope you have a great uh, rest of your day. Great stream, thank you, Ethan. Yeah, have a great day, you guys too. We'll still join whenever I can. Thank you for all you do, and best luck finding a new normal. I know, Roland. The same to you, man. It's I don't know, like I don't. 
Like, community is longer. Uh, kids are going... Yeah, it's... It's, it's gonna be like the same as the was the readjustment period for like everybody work from home now COVID. Uh, that was challenging to transition and now it's challenging to transition back. Changes are always difficult. Like even though I had normal office life for years and coming back to it feels weird, honestly. Yeah, it will be weird for a few days, few weeks maybe, but I'm gonna adjust again. Like I, I'm good at adjusting to stuff, so. I'm more concerned about le my levels of energy or, or power to to um, keep showing up for the cool factor stuff for you guys. Um, I have to shift a few things here and there, but I think the cool factor has been really going well over the last few weeks or months. And I want to keep that momentum. I want to, you know, really continue what I do because I do enjoy it in the way it is right now. With more live streams, you know, it's it's good. It's good for me and I like it. So... I just hope like it won't like suck the energy out of me, all that like coming back, commuting and normal life stuff, getting in the way again. Um, I just hope it it will be okay. I I don't know. Like I can't tell you at this mo moment, but uh, we'll see. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna do my best to adjust so I can keep both things going, you know, without going crazy. Yeah. Best of luck getting through the next week. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm gonna try. Uh, John, uh, thank you. Good day, everyone. Great stream. Thank you, John. John, stop. Oh, a lot of TV series is coming to, on Amazon. Oh, so... Okay, I didn't know that. I I didn't know that. Uh, or maybe I did, I forgot. So that's a great trigger, actually, for LEGO stuff. Okay, XROGF confirms that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Amazon, not Netflix, gotcha. Um, Alright. Oh, so you guys... I'm, I'm so ill-informed. I'm not informed, actually. No breaks for the pandemic here either. Uh, retail... Oh, so you guys... Yeah, like... I, I I stopped working retail ever since I stopped working at the Lego store. So that was my, my last retail job. Ever since... Uh, corporate, like, marketing, video making. And that was, like, my, 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 my uh, way of working. Transition to home was pretty okay, because, you know... Editing from, you know, I'm, I'm mostly editing videos, so everything can be remote in that matter. And that worked for me, but yeah, some, sometimes, I mean, at some point things will have to go back to, to normal, right? And I feel safer because, like, I'm partially vaccinated, so next next shot is end of April, so I'm going to be fully vaccinated back then. Uh, so I feel a bit safer thinking about it, you know, for sure. Stay safe, good luck, yes. Uh, going to be for major audiences. We'll see. Like The Witcher, like more like a bloody, more 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 like blood and, and fighting. I mean, Lotr was never really easy on 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 death and fighting and like really like there was a lot of decapitation and and you know people dying. <laughs> so I don't. I never thought that the Lotr was 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 crazy. Bye. Is that a suggestion I should go? Okay. Lego store reopens here in England tomorrow. Nice. Our Lego stores were open for a while now. Right. Okay, guys. I can say my goodbyes forever. Thank you so much for coming. Brickheart, appreciate the super chat. Thank you. Uh, this year premiere of Matrix 4. Lego Matrix is possible. Uh, action movie? Probably not. Guns. Lots of guns. You know what I'm saying. Lego doesn't like guns. And Matrix has guns. Lots of guns, like Neo says, quoting Neo, right? Uh, bye, Mike. Have a great day. Uh, will you stream the Mustang next week? Uh, I, I would love to. I, I was trying to, to stream. Actually, I was planning to do a stream this Friday, but things got in the way, so I wasn't able to. So I want to get the Mustang going uh, this week, hopefully. All right, guys. Love you all. Talk soon. Stay safe. Have a great Sunday. We're going to see each other very soon. All right. Peace out. I'm gonna click because I don't know if my uh, stream deck will kill my stream or not. Um, hit the like and goodbye.